What's good, V-Sounds? It's your boy, Kit and Raid, back with another lockdown challenge. And who knows, maybe the last challenge of lockdown. We'll have to see what Bozza says. But personally, I would rather hear from you. Are you finding these useful? Would you like me to carry on these challenges even if we come out of lockdown? Let me know. I know a lot of you have been absolutely killing these challenges. Whatever happens, don't stop now. Let's keep this progress train a rolling. Even if there isn't a challenge next week, don't quit the momentum that you've built. You could go back through these, see if you can beat your times, take a few things from high levels here and there, push yourself, succeed. You deserve the best, but to get the best, you gotta give the best. So let's do this. Lockdown challenge four. No timer required this week. We're gonna stick with a lot of the exercises we've already done. It might be exciting to hop around exercises, but you're gonna see more benefit getting really good at a few than jumping all over the shop, especially if you're just trying to build a foundation of fitness and strength. They say, fear the man who's practiced one kick a thousand times over the man who's practiced a thousand kicks once. So, level one exercises. A push-up, you know. Mountain climbers, you know. A row. You got a lot of options on how to do this one. I have a whole video on places you can row if you don't know, but if you've got a couple of heavy-ish things, dumbbells, sandbag, some water bottles, whatever, you're gonna wanna keep a soft bend in the knee, fold forward at the hips without rounding your back. You want a proud chest, a neutral spine, you're gonna hold onto your heavy things and you're gonna pull them to between your belly button and solar plexus area. Keep your elbows tucked at about 45 degrees, so just don't flare them out too far. Try and feel a squeeze in your back, lower under control. If you don't have objects, but you do have a sturdy table or some parallel bars, lie down. Again, pull to your midsection. Bend the knees if it's too hard to go from straight legs. The more vertical you are, the easier it'll be. There is a version of this exercise that you can do. Find that version. This is a great pulling exercise and getting a head start on it now is gonna put you in great stead compared to people who only concentrate on push-ups and squats and all those mirror muscles. A strong back is of primo importance. And your fourth exercise is a squat. You know a squat, so possibly only one new thing to get to grips with, that's no worries. Round one, you're gonna perform one of each of these exercises. And then you're gonna come round to round two, which is gonna be two of each of these exercises. And then round three, which is three of each. This goes as far as you take it. You are in charge. This is a chance to train some mental toughness, some fortitude. I honestly think that's the best thing I've taken away from fitness. The knowledge that I can do more than I think I can that I can push myself further than I think I can go. And you can too, you are hardier than you believe. Pick a number of rounds, get there, no matter what it takes, no matter how long, how hard, get there. And when you are there, do another one. And keep doing another one until you really are spent. And then stop and feel bloody proud of yourself and call your mum, let her know. When you feel you need to take a rest in between rounds, do so. I like this one because it acts as its own warm up. It gets more strength orientated and less cardio orientated as the reps go up. It gets harder, but it also gets easier in that you don't have to keep changing positions all the time. That's a silver lining, call me an optimist. Level two, I'd like to see you replace the mountain climber with a knees to elbows. And you're gonna swap the order, so you go in push, row, knee to elbow, squat. And for every one push up you're doing, you're gonna do two rows, three knees to elbows, and four squats. So round one, one push-up, two rows, three knees to elbows, four squats. Round two, two push-ups, four rows, three knees to elbows, eight squats. Round three, three, six, nine, 12, etc. It's gonna get mean, it's gonna get mean fast. Try, if you can, for as long as you can, to only rest in between whole rounds. Obviously, at some point, you're gonna reach failure, and then you might need to take a rest pause. No worries, don't let that stop you. Forge forward into new levels of bad assery. Level three, I'm hoping that along the journey to you becoming a level three kind of beast, you also accumulated some gear. I'm hoping that you have a moderately heavy object and you have somewhere to pull up. A bar, ring, suspension trainer. Again, if you need some ideas about how to pull off a pull up without a pull upable bit of equipment, 
check that video I mentioned. But if you don't have a pull-up or pull type of equipment, but you do have a heavy object, that's fine. Just do rows. If you've got no gear, you're doing level two, but I expect an absurd amount of rounds from you. So, level three, warm up, and then we go in one pull-up, one hanging leg raise, one thruster. Two pull-ups, two hanging leg raises, two thrusters. Three, 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 four, 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 five, 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 to infinity and beyond. And again, if you've got nowhere to hang, you could do uh, V-sits, you could do dragon flags, you could do Z-press, you could do whatever you fancy. Whatever level you're going for, you are going to be getting a full body workout, which is going to translate into a full body and brain high that you are going to love. Another step up on your fitness journey, a challenge for your mind to see how far you can push yourself. Let me know how far that is. Let me know how far you go. I love to hear from you. Let me know also if you want me to continue these in this more achievable format, even if we come out of lockdown. Any questions, any comments, hit me up. I got your back. And as always, my friends, get them gains. Be well.